Juino Day was April 2nd. Yes. And I feel terrible that we didn't cover that. We've covered the Raspberry Pi. I know there have been Ar Arduino projects with the Father Robert and Brian on Know How. Um, what is the difference between a Raspberry Pi and an Arduino? Uh, they look kind of superficially so this similar. Is, so this is a Raspberry Pi. This is actually an Odroid. Ah. Odroid C2, okay. which is a clone. These are, com really, the thing to me is the Raspberry Pi and the Odroid and its ilk are computers. Mm -hmm. They are. They're full computers and with operating systems and everything. And that's the difference between Raspberry Pi and Arduino, is that Raspberry Pi is a full computer. It has all of the things that you would normally use on a computer. It has a Four CPU, Four USB ports, memory, Ethernet. Yep, IO, Ethernet, networking, audio, video. HDMI. HDMI. So everything that you would use on a normal computer is there. It's just very tiny. It's the size of a credit card. it has a GPIO port a general exactly. purpose I.O. pins. Yep. So you could put a cable on this and each pin can do something else each and you can write can software different. to control it. Yep. And so that's a big, this is a display adapter too, right? Yep. So there's a place for a camera and a place for a, a display. Camera, right, yep, yeah. there's one one of each, you're right. Yep. Yep. So if you want to just hook a camera on there, you can get the one with the ribbon and just slit, stick it Isn't in that, that cool? slot. And it'll use, it also, but you know, you can use a USB camera as well or uh, anything really. And 35 so, bucks. 35 bucks. What operating system runs on a Raspberry Pi? So typically Pi? you're going to use Raspbian. Uh, which is a which Debian, is a Debian Lin Linux mm -hmm. designed for Raspberry designed Pi. Designed specifically for the Raspberry Pi. So which, by the way, well. comes with Minecraft. Mm -hmm. Microsoft has licensed Minecraft. And, uh, and we, our last caller, Andrew, was talking about programming on Minecraft. It has a Python. It has that built in. And, yep. uh, and the API and everything. It's built into Raspbian. That's right. So this is all you need. I, I've been telling parents, kid asks for a computer in his bedroom, say, no problem, Junior. Yep. Here's a keyboard, mouse, and monitor and a $35 computer. <laughs> And uh, boot up Raspbian and have fun in, uh, programming your, your Minecraft. And not only that, the great thing about it is because it's so popular, there's been all kinds of um, blogs and tutorials. There's so much and in there. You give it to your kid and they're going to go to the web and find something to yeah. do almost immediately. Yeah. It, it's not like when I started in computers, you know, you had to go to a computer club to figure out how to upgrade the memory on your TRS-80, right? right. Uh, but here you can just go online and, and, and go crazy. Um, and I know they have Raspberry Jams that are more popular in the UK where people get together and do stuff. There's also educator programs, so you can use the Raspberry Pi in the classroom. So, I mean, this, this is really exploding. It's, it's providing access to something that can really change a kid's life and kind of open them up to the world of making things. Now, this is a clone, basically. This is a Raspberry Pi clone. It's, it's called it's the Odroid. Odroid. It's from Hard Kernel. Um, they make a number of different boards like this, but this is the C2. It's fairly new. It came out just before the Raspberry Pi 3 came out. Also 35 bucks. Also 35 bucks. Um, Very similar. In fact, it looks like it's you could even use the same case almost. Right? Yeah, except this one includes a lot, a, a lot more capability. So you can you can see right away it's got a infrared receiver on it. So wow. if you wanted to use it as a uh, uh, connected to your set-top box. Control set -top for, box. You yeah. could use a remote control for lots of different things. It also, on the back, you can see it has eMMC memory uh, as well as SD card, and that's really important, and, and I'll tell you why, because this thing can run Android like nobody's business. Oh, that's, that's the big biggest difference thing. That's the between, name even tells you that. Yeah, Android, that's a big yeah. difference between this and the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi uses a Broadcom chip, and it's kind of specialized, actually. Um, it's not used a lot of places. It's an ARM chip, but it's not, they're, not all ARM chips are right. the same. And one of the ways they're not the same is this uses a hard kernel uh, ARM chip that it has Android drivers already written for it. So would you just download the open source project version of Android? And you wouldn't. They there? actually have a. They, they have their own. They distribution. have their own distribution that they okay. put out, and they're constantly updating it. Is this good for writing and testing Android apps? Um, it or could be, especially if more... you wanted to do a desktop style app. Okay. I think. Okay. Um, because you can hook this up to a big monitor and a keyboard and mouse. Um, you can right. test out like a tablet view of an app very easily. It wouldn't be good to test out a. a uh, a phone app because you don't have GSM and you don't it. have There's the no wireless. Phone. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So uh, Patrick Norton did a uh, look. He just got the Odroid on last week's This Week in Computer Hardware. Patrick was talking about his Odroid, and I'm sure he'll be doing some projects Absolutely. with it. So watch This Week in Computer Hardware. What I'm doing with it is I'm turning an old laptop into a Pi Top, but it's not going to be a Linux Pi Top. It's actually going to run Android. So we've talked about this on This Week in Google, yeah. you know, whether Chrome OS or Android should be the OS of choice, right, right. For, a, for a tablet or a desktop. I like Android on a desktop or on a laptop. And so what I'm going to do is it's a nice big uh, screen that I've got on this laptop. I'm going to turn it into a Pi Top and run Android on it.